So for this winter self-care routine, we're going to deep clean, exfoliate, put tons of hydration back into the skin, seal the hydration, and even do a jelly mask. So if you enjoy this video, don't forget to like it and let's begin. I'm gonna begin this winter self-care routine by deep cleaning, exfoliating, and hydrating my body first. I got a few self-care things to do before hopping in the shower, you know me. I drink a lot of coffee, so every five months, I do this whitening dental treatment using Crest 3D Whitening Strips 1 Hour Express. This is so simple to use. You're gonna brush your teeth, then dry them with a tissue, and right away, apply and leave the strips on the teeth for one exact hour. I used to do another white in treatment often and the sensitivity after was terrible so I switched to this type of whitening treatment and it seems to work well in keeping my teeth decently white free of coffee stains for a few months and there's no sensitivity after so I'm really happy with this this thing is gross <laughs> I just noticed that I have a lot of facial hair, so I'm gonna take this time to remove it real quick. So for my eyebrows, I'm gonna use these tweezers to pluck the thicker hairs in between my brows. And I'm also gonna pluck a few hairs from the sides, you know, I like messy eyebrows. To remove any peach fuzz in between my brows and also the hairs around my mouth, I'm going in with the finishing touch flawless brows and circular motions to get rid of the hair in this area. I know this is a sign for the brows, but I've been using this for the hairs around my mouth as well and it gets rid of those pretty well with no pain and hair grows just as normal Am I the only one that feels like a new person after removing facial hair? Now that I've taken care of that, I still got more than 30 minutes left to wait for the whitening treatment. So it is the perfect time to hop in the shower, turn on the look and water, and let's just get rid of this rough, dry, crusty skin. Before exfoliation, I'm gonna clean my whole body with a hydrating wash. So for this, I'm going in with this lavender and rose body wash from Native, which is a hydrating body gel meant for relaxing and soften the skin. And I'm also gonna go in with this bamboo cleaning mitt from Equal Tools to deep clean my whole body. And this also helps to soften that rough, dry skin before exfoliation. I'm so happy that I finally found a replacement for my plastic loofah. Like cleaning the body with this mitt is so gentle and it feels super soft on the skin. This is made of natural ingredients such as bamboo and rami, which is a plant. And when I compare the cleaning experience experience regular loofahs feel rough and scratchy on the skin and this one feels silky and it cleans the oil and dirt very well Now I'm going to rinse this off with warm water and I have to say that the lavender scent left on my skin from the body wash was giving me life so good. Next to remove the rough cracked skin from my whole body, I'm going in with tree hot vitamin C shea sugar scrub to deeply exfoliate my whole body with this. The reason I'm not using my Kesa glove here is because in order to turn rough skin into a soft one, you need a chemical exfoliator to help you with this or at least that's what works for my skin so i found this sugar scrub on target that is made with shea butter vitamin c and alpha hydroxic acid which is a chemical exfoliator that works on removing the top layers of dead skin cells but also promotes firmness on the skin which will keep your skin very tight and young so as you can see i'm using circular upward motions to exfoliate my arms my back the chest area stomach legs and both of my feet and oh boy this scrub gets a little bit warm when you put it on your skin and start massaging it kind of cool as soon as i start scrubbing i noticed that my skin was instantly soft very bright and glowy so fully recommended With my body fully exfoliated, I am gonna take this time to shave my legs and armpits. So I'm going in with EOS Shea Butter Shave Cream Vanilla Bliss to create a protective barrier between my skin and the razor. By the way, I shave with pure almond oil, but somehow I can't find my oil <laughs> anywhere. So I had this shaving cream from a summer trip that I did this year, and I really like it. It has shea butter, so skin feels extremely soft 
and hydrate it afterwards and it can be used on wet or dry skin but I will still recommend you to shape on wet skin to avoid irritation and as you can see a little goes along with this I normally shave my legs in a downward motion which is what helps me to have less bumpy skin on my legs and armpits I also have some scratches on my legs so I'm gonna avoid shaving there until the skin heals so yeah I'm gonna have some hairy patches on my legs for the next few weeks The crusty level on my heels is unbelievable, so that has to go now. So for this, I'm gonna use a natural pumice stone from Fogati to scrub with medium pressure both of my heels and soles to remove all the cracked dry skin from this area. You know what? I'm gonna go strong pressure because these heels don't feel anything. So yeah, that's how bad it is. By the way, these pumice stones can be used on the hands if you have calluses. They are perfect for that. Just make sure to use it at the end of your shower since the skin is moistened and it will work better and this also applies for the feet. Alright, my heels are finally soft and they feel like skin again. So I'm going to do a final water rinse and now I'm gonna get out of the shower because it is time to remove the whitening strips. There's nothing more powerful for treating extreme dry skin than doing a sea salt bath. My husband has psoriasis and in my case my skin gets pretty rough and dry due to the cold weather. So in the past we tried many brands and so far what keeps our skin super soft, healed, nourished and exfoliated during winter time is this dead sea salt from Minera. This is certified pure and it is imported from the Dead Sea and it can be used as a psoriasis alternative treatment for relaxing bath or even as an exfoliating scrub I personally use this every other week during winter time to keep my skin healed and nourished so to do this moisturizing bath I just filled the bath with warm water and then I'm going to pour four handfuls of this dead sea salt in the water as the instructions recommend I'm going to fully soak my whole body in this nourishing water for about 20 minutes to allow the rich minerals to deep hydrate and calm the skin down. I personally feel a massive difference when I exfoliate before doing a sea salt bath. My skin tends to stay very hydrated for weeks and less irritated as well. Now that it has been 20 minutes, I'm going to carefully get out of the bath and the only thing to do is to towel dry my body and that's it. I'm not rinsing this off because as I said, this dead sea salt water is extremely nourishing to the skin. That's why you don't want to rinse it afterwards by the way once your skin dries you just feel like a cotton ball super soft right after the bath I'm going to put on some comfy clothes and then to lock the hydration on my skin which is very important I'm going in with Aveeno daily moisturizing lotion which is fragrance free so perfect for any skin type and it provides intense hydration without leaving skin sticky or greasy so as you can see I apply extra lotion on the elbows knees feet chest hands and legs now that I have treated my whole body and I feel super soft and moisturized from shoulders to toes, I still gotta do something about my dry acne face. So for this specific area, I'm gonna begin by washing my face with this gentle probiotic cleansing gel from Prabuling. I started using this probiotic cleanser a few months ago because my acne is back and I have to say that my skin seems healthier, more balanced and instantly brighter when I clean with this. Probiotics help acne prone skin by creating an optimal environment that will fight against the bacteria that causes acne. So now I'm going to rinse this off with cold water and look at my skin. 
Also, this probiotic cleanser supports exfoliation and pore cleaning, which is exactly what I'm gonna do next. So, to exfoliate the deeper layer of my skin, which is needed, I'm going in with this heavy stuff with the Ordinary Peeling Solution HA and BHA, which is a chemical exfoliator that removes dead skin from the top and deep layer of your skin, and it should be used with discretion. So, before application, skin needs to be clean and dry. So I'm going to pour this acid on my hand in this way and I'm gonna cover my whole face and neck Always avoiding the under eye and upper lip and leave it on for 10 minutes Once time is up, I'm going to proceed to rinse this very well with cold water Which helps to calm down the skin after doing something like this even though this chemical exfoliator makes my skin squeaky clean and removes a lot of the bumpy feeling on the skin, my nose still got some dry blackheads that I need to be extracted right now. So for this, I'm going in with Bior Charcoal Deep Cleansing Pore Strips. I love this stuff. I try not to use that often because when you're 30, you want to avoid pulling your skin. But today, it is necessary. So instructions are simple. With clean skin, and you're gonna wet the nose area very well because if you don't the strip won't stick then peel the stuff and proceed to apply it on the middle first and then work your way towards the edges of your nose like this after 10 minutes the strip should harden so now it is time to peel it off See, that's why I love this stuff. Always works. Look at all the blackheads it extracted from my nose. And now I can finally say that my whole face is not bumpy anymore. It's glowing. My nose is glowing. After doing all this deep cleaning and exfoliation to my face, it kind of feels stripped, so it is important to put moisture back into my skin. So if you don't do that, your skin will begin to overproduce oils, which could result in breakouts and clog pores. So to put intense hydration back into my skin and seal it, which is a core step, I learned about this interesting technique, which is putting a jelly mask on top of your skincare products to, to force your skin to absorb them completely kind of cool huh so based on my skin needs i ended up getting this lavender jelly mask from avery rose which is infused with electrolytes and is supposed to do a lot for your skin so fights acne and wrinkles reduce asthma hydrates it is anti-inflammatory and very natural it even has the lavender pieces in it i usually don't buy face masks but jelly masks and hydrogels there's something about them that i really like and find satisfying so to prepare this jelly mask, you need to mix two scoops of the lavender powder with one scoop and a half of water and then using a spatula, mix it very well until it forms this type of gooey consistency. And before applying the mask, I'm going in with a generous amount of the ordinary hyaluronic acid, which is a serum that helps your skin to retain onto water. And also to treat my dry lips, I'm using this super cute Hello. night repair lip lip sleeping mask from she loves this is their cherry blossom extract it comes with this super cute honey dipper applicator i think i got this just for the applicator for sure now that my skin is prepped i'm gonna go ahead and apply the jelly mask all over my face and neck as soon as i put this jelly mask on my skin the cooling effect was insane i love the texture it was so much fun to spread this on my skin i know also has a very soft lavender smell nothing crazy which is nice in my opinion and so far i'm happy with this and this is how my skin looks once i'm done applying it pretty bad i definitely did something wrong for sure but you know the intention is what counts right so i'm going to lay down on my bed for 20 minutes to allow the jelly mask to treat my skin nourish it you know do all that good stuff and now the time is up the jelly mask looks like this and i'm gonna peel it off now.
it tickles so much. In my mind, I was supposed to peel this off in one piece, but hey, practice makes perfect. So next time, I hope I'll do a better job. <laughs> because of the bad job that I did, I end up having some of the residue of the jelly mask on the hairline and brows because I did apply on those parts for no reason. So to remove this, I use a wet cloth on those areas, which came out pretty easy and that's it. No rinsing the products off. And here's how my skin looks after all the pamper that we just did. This was so worth it. Oh my goodness, it's like I delete all the pores. My skin feels so soft. It's like so clean. But what I did today, that was that's exactly what I needed. It was worth it for me. I feel so great. I feel like I can go for about a month. <laughs> if I kind of forget to take care of myself because I am that type of person I really hope that you also have fun with me and relax and maybe this inspires you Take care of yourself with whatever you got That's the most important thing Even just taking a nap or watching a movie and just laying down on a bed and taking care of yourself that's self-care and that's what it counts. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to share some love to me by subscribing to this channel right here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I'll get to see you in the next video. Pura vida! Can I just leave this in here? This made my night. You made it.